When booking into the site, you should firstly ensure full compliance with all relevant site rules and personal protective equipment requirements. Before beginning any work on the truck, the engineer should make sure they are wearing the correct personal protective equipment. Gloves and safety boots for protecting the hands and feet are important. A pair of knee pads or a kneeling mat should also be considered where work is likely to involve the engineer kneeling. To establish a safe working area, move the truck to a suitable and safe location. Engage the truck's parking brake, switch off the truck and remove the key. The truck should now be inoperative. Before commencing any jacking, firstly inspect the truck. Is it immobile? Is it parked on a firm and level surface? Is the floor clear of obstructions? Is the surface free of spillages and slip hazards? Is there anything else that could impact or harm you in this location? Make sure to select the correct jack for the work. In most cases, this will be an alligator, tow or bottle jack. If the engineer is uncertain whether the jack is the correct one for the work, then they should consult their supervisor. Another forklift truck should never be used for lifting instead of a jack, under any circumstances. Once the correct jack has been selected, examine it to make sure it is operating correctly, clean and free from any defects. Make sure your jack has been thoroughly examined by a competent person within the last 12 months. Ensure the blocks that will support the machine once elevated are also fit for purpose, clean and free from defect. Identify the best point from which to jack the truck. Remember, jacking points may vary depending on the make or model of the truck. Consult the maintenance manual if you are in any doubt. Be careful not to place the support under a component that could shift or move afterwards. Once the jacking point has been identified and the jack is in the correct position, begin the lift by slowly pumping the jack's handle. When the optimum height has been reached, insert the blocks under the truck, making sure they're located in an appropriate position to ensure the truck is correctly supported and stable. Always observe sensible base-to-height ratios when using blocks to support equipment and make sure there are sufficient blocks under the truck to ensure any work can be safely carried out. Add additional blocks if necessary, but always ensure the support remains stable. Once the blocks are correctly positioned, slowly release the jack, ensuring all the time that the truck is secure and the blocks are supporting its weight. Once satisfied that the truck is secure, the jack can be removed. Only then can work be safely carried out on the truck. When jacking the truck from the rear, again, take the time to identify the correct jacking point. In certain instances, it may be necessary to chock the truck's wheels, for example, when the braked wheels have been raised off the floor. Ensure that the surface profile of the counterweight is suitable for jacking and never jack under the counterweight without first checking that the fixings are secure. Not all counterbalanced trucks can be jacked from under the counterweight. Once the jack is inserted, begin the process of lifting the truck. Once the optimum height is reached, insert the blocks being used to support the truck. Ensure the blocks are of equal height and placed far enough apart to maximize support. Once the engineer is confident the blocks are even and in the correct location, then the jack can be released. However, the engineer should always ensure the blocks bear the weight of the truck before removing the jack altogether. Even when the blocks are in place, do not work on the truck while it is still being supported by the jack. Never position any part of your body under the truck until it is safely supported by blocks. Always make sure people are aware of the work you are doing and where you will be working. Always wear appropriate PPE. Always use knee pads or a mat. Always select the right jack dependent upon truck type. Always use the correct jack bar. Always ensure the jack is placed on a suitable supporting surface. Always use the correct jacking point for the truck you are working on.
Never be tempted to block the jack to gain additional height, as this could render the lift unsafe. Likewise, never put blocks under the jack. If the intention is to level up an uneven surface, don't. Under such circumstances, move the truck to a flat, even and appropriate load-bearing surface, such as a warehouse floor, where jacking can be carried out safely. Never place blocks directly under the wheels of the truck when the intention is to carry out work on the underside of the vehicle, unless they have been specifically designed for this purpose. The weight of the truck could easily cause it to roll off such a block, and if an engineer was working underneath the truck at the same time, then they would be crushed. Only ever use purpose-designed blocks to safely support a truck, and inspect the blocks prior to use. Don't be tempted to use whatever comes to hand, as in most cases, this is highly likely to be unsuitable and render any lift dangerous. If in doubt about this, then the engineer should seek the help of a supervisor or consult the appropriate instruction manual. Always use the correct handle supplied with the jack. Using a bar that is too short may require the engineer to exert too great an effort. This could result in the engineer or the jack slipping. Too long a bar could result in the jack being overloaded and possibly lead to its collapse. Always make sure the jack is correctly positioned for a safe lift. Never leave the jack unattended whilst a lift is in place, as this could leave the truck unsafe. If a technician has to leave a lift for any reason, such as answering a phone call, then the jack should be released and the truck lowered to the ground. Never work on the truck while it is still being supported by the jack. Never position any part of your body under the truck until it is safely supported by blocks. Never be tempted to block the jack to gain additional height, as this could render the lift unsafe. Never put blocks under the jack. Never place blocks directly under the wheels of the truck. Never use unsafe materials to support a truck. Only ever use purpose-designed blocks. Never leave the jack unattended whilst a lift is in progress. Never use another forklift truck to lift instead of a jack. In summary, safety should always be the engineer's number one priority. Do not be tempted to put yourself in danger just to get the job done. Never carry out any work on a truck that is raised and supported by a jack alone. If in doubt about any aspect of the jacking and blocking, then the engineer should consult their supervisor before proceeding.